university. About two spoons, two teaspoons of uh, two teaspoons of baking baking soda. Yeah. What else are we adding? We are adding first when you are baking your mince pie dough, you have to first add the uh, the dry ingredients first. Okay. That is the butter. I mean the flour, the baking powder, and the. Uh, Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be adding is the, is the milk. Okay, we're going to be adding our milk. We're going to be adding our milk. So when you want to make your, they have to wait a just an ego like this. Okay, because so they're we are not mixing all the dough together. We're not mixing it. Little, little by little. By little. So that we can keep that uh, surface. Okay. So we're using milk. Okay, so we're adding our milk. I know Depending that... on the size of the dough you are making. Okay, so what's the quantity of this? So milk? just in tin, they're just in uh, uh, cup, a, a cup. cup. Yeah. Okay. So we have a cup of milk in there, guys. A cup of milk. So like I like I was saying that we can use different. Uh, like almond milk, or maybe coconut milk, or. I don't know, any other alternative choice of the helping is actually good. Okay, so we can see that it's a very chilled water. I can see his eyes. Okay. So guys, we have our flour, we have our two spoons, two teaspoons of um, baking powder. Okay, we have our milk. And then we have a teaspoon of the sea salt, okay? And then she's mixing with her hands, right? You have to mix it, okay. Like you're wrapping them in. Oh, oh, fantastic, fantastic. Guys, this is super interesting. Trust me, I'm a nutritionist, but that's what I'm learning how to cook. So I'm learning how to make my dough for my meat pie. This is super interesting. So this time around, I don't get to buy my meat pie outside. Because I want to make it by myself. I want to control what goes in my meat pie. So I get to learn how to make my own meat pie. Chicken pie dough. That's right, chicken pie dough. Wow. Yeah, well, okay. Without butter. Without butter. It's very raw. So the next thing I'm going to be making is cream. Chicken pie dough. Chicken pie dough. I'm making it using our salad master. Uh, just so we are the chicken broth. Okay. I Okay. Okay. So this is from boiling the chicken. So this is the guys. Can you imagine? This is amazing. Just in a minute or so, it's already boiling. So we have our chicken broth in there, right? Yeah, chicken broth. Wow. Wow. 
Wow, that is can you see that we're adding our Irish potato. Irish potato is good fiber, okay? You know, you need the fiber to ease your bowel system. It's a form of beef such as well. So we're adding Irish potato in there, guys. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. This is filling because this is like a real food itself. And Irish potato is high in potassium, which is good for people with blood pressure issues. Irish potato is also high in magnesium and it's high in a whole lot of many other nutrients, okay? That the body actually needs. It's right, it's just super. So the next thing I'm adding now is the shredded chicken. Shredded chicken, guys. We have a shredded chicken. And then uh, what part of chicken? I'm sure this is chicken breast. Yes. Okay. So guys, we have a shredded chicken from the chicken breast without the skin no, on. Chicken, breast, chicken fillets. Chicken fillets. Wow, chicken fillets. So now the chicken fillet has lesser fat. Okay, so it has more of the muscle. Which is way more better and healthy because there is no fat in the fillet as well. So the next thing I'm adding is the carrot. So guys, we're going to be having our shredded carrot. And guess what? Carrot is high in beta carotene, and beta carotene is a precursor of vitamin A, which the body needs. The eyes it gives us good and brighter and clearer eyesight. So guys, trust me, you want to eat more carrot because of the beta carotene and vitamin A. Likewise, it's high in antioxidants like lycopene, which is good as good for cancer fighting as well. So, guys, trust me, this, this is awesome. This is awesome. So, the next thing I'm adding onions. We're going to be adding our spring onions. Spring onions, super green from the alien family. Now, the spring onion is also high in chlorine. Now, what, we're adding another green. Yeah, adding green pepper. Green pepper. You know, I'm vegetables. vegetables. Yes. So, Guys, can you imagine? We are having our green pepper. Can you imagine the color? The green color, the orange color. This is super powerful antioxidants we're adding on in there. Now, when you take lots of greens, you get to boost your immune system because they have lots of good antioxidants. They have good flavonoids that helps the, soup, that helps the body to fight. It protects the body. It boosts your immune system. It keeps you going. Okay, so I don't joke in my green at all. So we have all our green in there. What, what are we doing next? Then, Jessica? Adding sea then we are adding sea salt. Now, guys, this is becoming more interesting. This is becoming more interesting. Like I said, sea salt, I would prefer sea salt. I would recommend sea salt because um, sea salt has less processing. Okay. Normally, the table salt has gone through a whole lot of process and then uh, they actually fortify with iodine and a whole lot more. But Sea salt is more natural. That's why we prefer sea salt. What next are we adding? Yes, I'm adding the We're adding our curry. We're adding our curry powder. Oh, wow. This is, this is interesting. This is very much. Okay, yes, I'm adding the dry thyme. Okay, we're adding the dry thyme. So, guys, okay. Then the next thing I'll be adding is the blended uh, chili. Oh, wow. Blended chili, which is good. But sorry, just I see you add like two teaspoons of chili. So is it composite? Because so some people might not like it too spicy. So so I'll be okay, okay. So see guys, you could decide not to use pepper, but if you are the type that likes to add a little kick, fan, you could use a little pepper because I sometimes don't enjoy too much spice. Okay, so that's it, guys. We have everything going on in there. We have our Irish potatoes, we have our green pepper, we have our spring onions, we have our chicken uh, broth, using chicken broth, we have our chicken peanuts, we have our sea salt, about one teaspoon of sea salt. Now you need to be sensitive with the quantity you are making. That determines the amount of condiments. So we have our sea salt. And the reason why we choose to use sea salt is because it has less processing. So it's way more healthy than the normal regular salt because the regular salt must have gone to different processing. So what are we doing now? Okay, so just a little... Okay, okay. So just a little water because we have a lot of dough. Oh, okay, fabulous. So now we need to be careful to make sure that it's not too watery, right? All right, then. All right. That's fantastic. So what are we doing to it? So what's the quantity, what's the measurement of this conflict? Okay. 
Mm -hmm. So if you want to do our speaking today, so what you have to do is you make this class, make this class, then you want to just you have to add one. Okay. Okay, so because we wanted a big tick, that's why we used that much quantity. Okay, so what are we going to do to this compliant now? A little water to make a paste. Okay, guys, I'm sure we're all familiar with uh, the corn flour. This good starch is from the carbohydrate group, good complex carbohydrates as well. It's also high in fiber, it's also very high in fiber, which is good, and it's a good amount of complex carbohydrates as well, which is not bad. It's not bad. So this time around, we're going to be adding our corn flour into our healing rice just to make it sort of thick. Now, if you want it watery, but I think it's a good idea to have it slightly thickened up. So it, it gets to feel you more, okay? Wow, this is super interesting, so just that. The most exciting, you're welcome, you are welcome, because you're doing an amazing job here, and I'm learning a lot, and I'm sure our viewers out there are also learning from you, and they are taking note of every single thing we have been doing today. I hope you have your diaries and your papers, and you are doing a whole lot of jottings, because I'm actually learning so much. So what's the next thing? Wow, wow, wow. This is amazing. This is amazing. So we're going to be pouring our corn flour in there just to thicken it up. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. So as you're turning in your corn flour, you'll be turning to feel the thickness of your feeling just to have an idea of how thick it is already. You know, if it's okay for you, fine. Wow, this is amazing, so just, uh, Can you see, I can see it's already picking up. Wow, this is interesting. So like, um, wow, wow, wow. This is super, super interesting, guys. Guys, I've learned so much today. I can actually control what goes in and out of my meat pie and my chicken pie. You know, I can make it more healthy. The fact that we can do this without butter is what amazes me the most. I'm super excited because I get to reduce the calorie intake. I'm sure many of us are concerned about the calories. We're trying to manage our weight. What do you think? So the next thing is that I'm going to take this out, take this down. Okay. Okay. So we want to make sure we get this out to cool up. This is amazing. Can you see that look? Wow. So Jessica, you've done a fantastic job. I'm so excited. I'm so super excited. So we allow this to cool off. Okay. So we can use it for the dough when it's hot, right? While it's hot. Okay. Okay. Fabulous. Fabulous. So we have our chicken pie filling there. We're going to allow it to cool off. And once it's done cooling, then we get to use it for our dough. Can you see the color? We are going to be putting it Okay. Um, Okay. Okay, so we are preheating at 230, 230 degrees. Guys, can you see the control? That's enough. Wow, wow. So you could actually control the temperature you want. You could determine what temperature. So we are preheating at 230 degrees. Okay. Okay. So we're doing that for five minutes. That's what we're using for about five minutes. Yeah. So why is that? Because I have to use the dough. Okay, now this is the work. So we have to roll our dough, guys. So, so we have our corn flour. So you, you put your corn flour on the board. Okay, okay. fabulous. Then you uh, as you as you go about doing the dough. Wow, you're taking you're using the turner as well, guys. Can you see the turner? Remember, if you are able to book five presentations, five health talk shows, you get that turner for free. Oh wow. So we have our dough already. Okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. Fabulous. So guys, we're going to be making our dough. We're getting the dough ready. Also, you could do a whole lot more. So that's what we're doing now. Rolling in. Wow, wow. Guys, can you see that? So we're going to be using the rolling pin to roll the meat pie. This is interesting. That's the, um, that's the flour. That's the, yeah. That's the. 
So guys, can you see that depending on how you want your dough, you could get, you could make your dough thicker, you can make it a little bit more tiny. So it's a choice. It's a choice. Okay. Wow, wow. That's interesting. That's interesting. Wow. So you, you get to roll it to make it flat. Okay, that's interesting. So I'll be using our chicken five quarter. So we have a cutter, guys. We have a cutter to get the shape. That's interesting. Wow. So we get to add the feeling inside. Guys, can you see the natural goodness in the food going in there? This is becoming way more interesting. Wow. Wow, wow, so just because this is this is fabulous. So you get to put the quantity that this could assume in them. Okay. Guys, can you see that? Guys, can you see that this is a fantastic? Wow, guys, can you see that? Wow, then you press it. Wow, 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 wow. Can you see that? Guys, this is interesting. This is interesting. You can see the chicken pie. Oh my God. So we have that two at 130 degrees. Fantastic. Fantastic. Guys, we are ready to bake our meat pie, our chicken pie. Wow. So we cover. Okay. So you cover completely. At one thirty degrees. So, guys, because we are going to be messing with this, oh yeah, the golden color. So, we are going to be using the egg. Are we using both the egg yolk and the egg white? Okay, so we are going to be using it to grease the pie. Okay, 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 guys. So we're going to be using the egg white and not the egg yolk. So when you take it like that, you make sure you separate your yolk so you can see we have just the egg white and not the yolk. And you return your yolk back in there. Wow, wow, this is interesting. So you have just your egg white, which is way more healthy. Okay, the amount of fat in there is lesser. The amount of cholesterol in there is way less, it's more lean. Everything is in the yolk. So now we are taking the yolk away that is more fattening with high cholesterol. And we're using just and we're using just the egg white. So you mix it the little. You mix it the little. So what are we gonna do now? So we're gonna be using the brush. Okay, so we are creating like a fox thing inside. Wow, this is really chicken pie. So why why do we get to do this, Jessica? Because we're so that the filling inside. Okay. The first because of the filling inside. So we create air. Fantastic. So then we use our brush to brush it to give it that golden. Wow, guys, can you see that? Wow, this is interesting. Wow, guys, this is interesting. Can you see that? This is interesting. So I got to learn a lot today, Francesca, you know? So I can actually do my own chicken pie by myself. Wow, wow, can you imagine? So that's almost like your pink thing. So you just use your brush. So guys, can you see the type of brush she's using? Exactly, just like your painting brush. But guess what? You have to dedicate this just for this purpose. Yeah, yeah, this is amazing. So that gives it the golden cross. Okay, okay, wow, wow. Wow, wow, guys, can you see? Can you see the meat pie is coming through? Wow, this is interesting. This is amazing. Wow, 
Wow, wow, wow. I love this. Wow. So, guys, we are baking at 230 degrees, guys. We are baking at 230. Yeah, it's when you are going to Yeah. Oh, 130, sorry, guys. 130, 130. 130 degrees. Wow, this is nice. Guys, can you see that? This is already coming through. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Wow, guys, can you see that? Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. So we get to step. Oh wow, 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 guys. This is this is amazing. Wow. Our chicken pie is ready. Our chicken pie is ready. That is big. Wow. I can't wait. So Jessica, I really can't wait to have a taste of this. Wow, wow, wow. But who would have thought? Who would have known? That you can make your chicken pie without um without butter. Okay, lastly, how long did it take before you flipped the meat the pie to the other side? How long did it take before you yeah. flipped the pie? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. No, the time it how long did you wait before you flipped it on the other side? Okay, about 20 minutes. For 20 minutes okay great fantastic thank you very much guys this looks amazing i just want to bite of the pie